Hi guys, this is Fire, bringing you a basic tutorial for Legions Overdrive, specifically for Tribes players. Legions is a free-to-play game with no microtransactions or unlocks. You can get it at legionsoverdrive.com, link in the description. The game is unique from Tribes Ascend with faster-paced gameplay, more freedom of movement, and actual balance between splash-based and chain weapons which leads to dynamic and engaging duels. This game philosophy of easy to gain speed, hard to maintain it, which results in rewarding chasing and capping. User generated content such as mods and maps from the map maker, and a demo recording system, much of which the gameplay in this video is taken from. The first thing you should do in Legions is to get a comfortable keyboard layout. Legion's keybinds are very different from Tribes Ascend. I advise you to use my Tribes Ascend keybind config, which can be found in the description below with directions on where to place them. If you decide not to use this, know that Activate Jets is your ski bind, Jet Up combo is your Jets, and Jet Down combo is your Down Jets, which I will explain about later. The inventory screen can be accessed by pressing I. Here you can customize and create loadouts. You must select a loadout and respawn to switch. Outrider is the light armor class, which carries two weapons. Raider is the medium class, which carries three. And Sentinel is the heavy class, which also carries three weapons. To create a basic capping class, use this loadout. Outrider, or light armor, a rocket launcher, chain gun, boost grenade, and the overdrive core. I'll go into more details about the cores later. Name it Capper and save it. I also suggest numbering it, starting from 0 and going to 9, so you can know which loadout corresponds to the correct number pad key. The rocket launcher and chain gun are the universal legion's weapons due to their utility and damage potential. It's generally optimal to use both of them in combination. The rocket launcher behaves like a low inheritance weapon, but receives a forward boost in speed according to your velocity and the direction you're facing. This makes it feel consistent at all speeds and a deadly chasing tool. The chain gun has a heat mechanic that increases its spread over time and causes it to overheat if you use it too long. This can be countered by traveling fast enough that the air cools down your chain gun to the point that its spread won't increase at all. This is done to balance chain whoring while dueling with the need for a pinpoint laser chain while chasing. There's plenty of other unique weapons in Legions, but I'll let you explore them on your own. Down Jet is a movement tool not used in any other tribes games. The opposite of up jet, down jet accelerates you downwards, which can translate to faster speeds. There are several other tools used to gain speed in legions. The first is a simple rocket jump. The next technique uses boost grenades and a rocket or grenade launcher. Boost grenades are one of the types of throwing grenades in legions. It has the special ability to explode on contact with a rocket or grenade. This is called comboing. You can gain speed or extra mobility in the air by tossing one of these in the opposite direction you want to go and comboing. Here's combo boosting done with quicker motions. Super combos are done on the ground. They combine rocket jumping and combo boosting to gain immense impulse. They come at a high cost and can only be done with the rocket launcher. The last technique is called plasma boosting and it's done with the plasma gun. You simply aim behind you and shoot at your feet.
Health regeneration occurs passively out of combat. You must be on the ground and you can't be skiing. The cores and legions are similar to the packs and tribes ascend. The overdrive core allows you to perform tight maneuvers at high speeds at the cost of constant damage. It doesn't give you extra speed, but instead allows you to maintain the speed you have going into it. The overdrive core also creates a wake around you that knocks back nearby players. In order to go into overdrive, you have to be traveling at 88 meters per second or greater. You'll see a velocity warning sign if you're going over that speed. You also have to be touching the ground or another surface with your feet. Overdrive lasts for a minimum duration of 2 seconds. Let go of your ski key to exit. The warp core will send you back in time by 3 seconds to your previous velocity, position, and rotation at the cost of health. It also creates a scar in space which players can enter to follow you. You cannot activate the warp core while holding the flag, but instead can activate it right before you hit the flag since there is a very short activating time. You yourself can head back through your own warp scar if you make it there in time before it closes. The dodge core teleports you to a nearby location. Just press the directional key and activate. It's great for dodging shots and returning flags. The shield core has a short duration that negates some incoming damage. It doesn't take energy. The boost core boosts you in the way you're heading, not the way you're facing. The last core is the regeneration core. You hold it down to heal yourself, which drains energy. When you reach 100% health, it'll expand and heal friendlies nearby. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in game.